It may seem impossible to figure out the function of the human apolipoprotein A1, but research says otherwise. The gene for ApoA1 is located on the 11th chromosome. High-density lipoprotein is one of the five major groups of lipoproteins, which in order of sizes largest to smallest are chylomicrons, VLDL, IDL, LDL, and HDL, which enable lipids like cholesterol and triglycerides to be transported within the bloodstream and plays a central role in reverse cholesterol transport. 70% of high-density lipoprotein particles are made from ApoA1. ApoA1 is located on the surface of HDL in order to bind lipids. It's surrounded by phospholipids and contains triglycerides in its core. This is ApoA1 in its unbound state. The molecule consists almost entirely of pseudo-continuous amphipathic alpha helix with a shape similar to a horseshoe of dimensions 12.5 by 8 by 4 nanometers. Four molecules in the asymmetric unit, as shown by the four separate alpha helices twisting around each other, associate by their hydrophobic faces to form an anti-parallel four helix bundle with an elliptical ring shape. Proline residues are evenly spaced throughout the protein structure to create kinks that allow ApoA1 to have its elliptical shape. Now, all the nonpolar residues in ApoA1 are highlighted. It is clear that the inner ring of the structure contained the lipid binding sites. When bound to a lipid, a band of hydrophobic residues form a belt-like structure around the lipid. However, when not bound, rich in aromatic residues such as phenylalanine and tryptophan stabilize the structure through the phenomena known as aromatic packing. When in its lipid-bound form, the elliptical, extended ApoA1 structure becomes distorted and helical, wrapping itself around the lipid. The molecular basis for such a structural conversion of ApoA1 is not yet understood, although an open model has been proposed. First, four copies of tryptophan 50 and tryptophan 72 that were initially located on the outer ring make an 180 degree rotation towards the center of the structure. In this way, it disrupts the aromatic packing of the inner ring and destabilizes the unbound form of ApoA1. Next, inside out rotations of the terminal helices make a belt with all the hydrophobic faces of the helices facing inward. Lipid binding induced rotations have an impact on the conformation of the lipid free form. The structure goes from lipid free to lipid bound and extended to helical. Here's a visual representation of the sequence of events in the conformational change of the ApoA1 protein. ApoA1's primary role is in lipid transport, and specifically, reverse cholesterol transport. The ABCA1 transporter operates to harvest this free cholesterol and deliver it to the cell membrane where it is received by poorly lipidated ApoA1 to create nascent HDL. The free cholesterol on HDL surface is esterified by lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase, LCAT, and is sequestered into the lipoprotein's core which forms a mature spherical HDL3. Further cholesterol removal by HDL3 occurs through SRB1 receptors in membrane cholesterol pools. As HDL3 collects more cholesterol and sequestered by LCAT, it expands to HDL2. This way, HDL facilitates efflux of cholesterol from the surrounding macrophages, which lets reverse cholesterol transport occur. So why study ApoA1? HDL and ApoA1 concentrations are inversely related to the risk for coronary artery disease. Increased ApoA1 concentrations are more strongly associated with the reduction in risk of heart attacks. Because ApoA1 is directly involved in the lipid transport process and bringing cholesterol from tissues back into the liver, it is essential in both preventing the production of arterial plaques and shrinking existing ones.